Hi everybody, this is Nancy from NatureWorks, and this is the second in a series of deep dive into bulb basics and how to plant them in your gardens to double the color. My goal is to get you as excited about spring blooming bulbs as I am. I love bulbs. My garden is just not complete until the bulbs have been planted, and it's usually one of the last things that I do. I wanted to let you know that on our website, natureworksgardencenter.com, we do have some handouts on bulbs, and this is a handout called Bulb Basics that is really, really useful. I also have a handout that we can hand you in the garden center and will be on our website shortly called You Can Never Have Too Many Spring Bulbs. And these, this handout really talks about designing with bulbs. So I'm gonna give you a few helpful hints today, but always check our website because we've got great handouts on the website. Today's talk on bulbs is about naturalizing. Naturalizing means you put in bulbs and they spread over the years till you get a very large patch, which you can then dig parts of it up and move it around. And what I did was I put these bulbs in blooming order. And as I said in the last bulb video, don't trust what it says on the on the bulb boxes or the bulb um, containers because we want you to know when they bloom here in Connecticut. So early, mid, and late spring means nothing to the, to you. What matters is is it March, April, May, June. So the first bulbs that naturalize really well are single snowdrops, and snowdrops can fill your garden in about five years if you look if you take good care of them. They come up through the snow in late February, early March, and they hold their leaves for two months, which is why they naturalize well, because the leaves feed the bulb. The other thing I have found is after year three or four, just as the flowers are finished, you can dig up a patch of, of um, snowdrops, and they call it um, moving them in the green. While the leaves are still green, you dig them up, you split them apart, you put a few bulbs back, and you put the rest singly in new areas. And before you know it, you're gonna have a sea of snowdrops in multiple areas that are gonna to sing to you and make you happy in the earliest part of the growing season. Next up is Critalis Beth Evans. Now Critalis Beth Evans is another extremely small bulb. And this is, a, this is one of my favorite new bulbs that I've, I've ever met. I saw it in somebody's garden, had to find out what it was. This starts in April. And I've had this now for only three years and I've spread it all around my gardens. It spreads by seed and it spreads by little bulblets. So um, it's pink and it goes dormant in the summer, unlike some of the herbaceous corridalis, but don't pass this by. This is great for a shade garden. Next up for naturalizing is grape hyacinths. This is a very vigorous naturalizing bulb, Muscari armeniacum. And the secret to grape hyacinths is that in the fall, this variety of um, grape hyacinth, the leaves come up in the fall and reveal where the bulbs are. And you can dig up a patch in the fall, split them apart, put one bulb back, take the other 12 bulbs in your, in your bucket and put one in a new spot and you'll have patches all over your yard. These are very long blooming bulbs. They are beloved by pollinators and they make a great cut flower and they smell wonderful. So this is a, a fast growing, rather vigorous naturalizing bulb. The, the next is in order is um, Narcissus ice follies. When you come to visit NatureWorks in April, under our trees by the road, we have hundreds of these Narcissus ice follies and they were planted in the fall of 1989. And they have been there since then spreading and naturalizing. And I knew that this was a good variety because a customer of mine who had been gardening for decades, when I was helping her with one of her woodland gardens said, always choose ice follies for naturalizing. It's one of the very best. So I'm passing that advice along to you. Now, when you think about where to put something like ice follies, what I think of is I put my bulbs in between perennials. So let's say we had these two perennials, Amsonia Blue Ice, which is a June bloomer with foliage that comes up pretty early in early May, and Schizacrium Standing Ovation, which is a, a warm season grass that won't even show its leaves until late May. So in the spring, this is invisible. You see nothing. You have an empty spot. So I would put 
some of my daffodils or muscari around the grass that would sprout late because that will fill the hole where this grass is. And if you know, so you think to yourself, what's it gonna look like in the garden? And you, you try and fill in that gap when something sprouts late. This is beauty berry, calicarpa with these beautiful purple berries. This shrub looks dead as a doornail in April and even May. You're like, oh no, it didn't make it. And it does make it. So I would surround the base of this shrub with any of these naturalizing bulbs. Thalia is another wonderful narcissus for naturalizing. It has multiple flowers per bulb and they're white and they're very fragrant. And again, I've had Thalia in my yard for many, many, many years. So this is a little bit later than ice follies, probably later in April. And it's a, it's a permanent member of your garden. In May, you can put in wood hyacinth. We have hyacinthoides, non-scripta, and we have um, uh, another variety. Now these spread quickly, and you might see bluebell woods in pictures of bluebell woods in England. That's what we're talking about. But they, they add so much extra color to the garden and make such a great cut flower. So you want to think about where to place them when you're naturalizing them, around and surrounding plants that they have room to grow underneath before the plant sprouts and you want to think about succession of bloom with the bulbs. They're not all April and they're not all May. We have bulbs that start in February and we have bulbs that bloom in June and early July. So you can span many many months with bulbs and we'll help you do that. So this is Nancy from NatureWorks saying see you at the garden center. Bye bye.